All right, we have a trigger pulse reactor. No, could not power a city or end one. That noise is not a blast wave, and it's definitely not grid scale electricity. A trigger pulse reactor produces a very short spike, milliseconds long, caused by the fuel's large prompt negative temperature coefficient. It's self-limiting. It's actually the opposite of a weapon. It's a research tool designed so that students don't accidentally dose themselves. Your energy of the pulse is actually pretty low. Listening to a nuclear reactor coming alive. Now again, it's steam flash and the pool reacting acoustically to a power spike. The core itself is quiet. And uranium atoms splitting 92 billion times a second? That's way off. Fission rates actually spike on the order of 10 to the 18th power fissions per second. And that just lasts for milliseconds. And then the reactor shuts itself down. That's what it's supposed to do. The hotter the fuel gets, the less it wants to fission. And there's your safety break. Bending atoms to electricity. There's no electricity here. Trigger stands for Training Research Isotopes General Atomics. They exist to train nuclear engineers. It's a neutron machine, not a power plant. 300 Celsius water spinning turbines at 1500 RPM. There's no turbine. And in the US, coolant temperature is on the order of 300 Celsius, but turbines are around 1800 RPM for 60 Hertz power. But equating this to power production makes about as much sense as claiming a kitchen sink powers a hydroelectric dam.